well, you can argue in terms of prospects coming up in this division, this man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class. Tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage, but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well. Well, when you possess that type of skill, when you have all the abilities, you're not afraid of where the fight goes. This man believes that he's just better. And he has proven that every time he steps up to the octagon. He is well-rounded. And many say it, but this kid is well-rounded. And he has shown it in his octagon appearance. Yeah, comes from a great camp, gets a lot of different looks, and health as well. When he's been healthy, he's looked like one of the best fighters in this division. So here is Jan Bohovic as he continues to get back on the horse to try to regain his UFC light heavyweight title. We talk about this a lot, but it's amazing to think about where he was in 2017, the night you defended the belt in Buffalo, New York, or won the title, I should say. He was two and four in the UFC. Yeah. I mean, I think that speaks to who he is as the man. Jan Bohovic, the man. Because if you aren't a strong person, you don't bounce back from that start. You don't become the champion of the world and widely regarded as one of the best in the world. He ha always had the skills. Now he has the ability to put all those things together. That's why you have seen a sustained run at the top of the division. He has undergone a head coaching change recently, employing his wrestling coach now as his head coach. And he believes it stands to reason that we will see the best version of Jan Bohovic here tonight. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander Rocket Rocket! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight world champion, Jan Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. All right, let us see how it goes early in this round for one Jan Bohovic got off to a pretty good start here tonight, was using that jab to great effect. We haven't necessarily seen that legendary Polish power. With all due respect, Jan, we'll see if he can find the knockout button here in this round. Straight punch there again, been there all night. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Rokic. Use your hands. All right, some good signs early on. Jan Blachowicz finding the range with both of his hands. That right hand has got some power, there's no doubt. I mean, legendary Polish power. <laughs> you know, it's like his calling card now. He puts people out with the right hand. It does not matter how he throws it. He can throw it as well. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness even be on his feet right now. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Wachowicz gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Under three minutes to go in round one. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. These opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like, so when you get a guy hurt, so you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Going to the body now with that foot. Well placed there. Oh! Oh, he's wobbled now. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, 
Blahovich is in half guard now. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Blahovich is back in half guard. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Setting up a sub here. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, he's out of danger. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Oh, he got to his spot. Went for the inside leg kick. Final seconds of the round. Hey, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, listen, everybody. Breathe, relax. I want you to get out there and keep this fight on your feet. I want you to avoid that takedown. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. This round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the opposite. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Well, not a fight ending blow there, but certainly some right hand power out of Jan Bohovic. Jan Bohovic can do it all. And that right hand is what has allowed for him to knock so many people out. You can't take many. You may be standing up right still right now, but if you keep getting hit with Jan Bohovic's right hand, he is going to put you to sleep. And if he's within earshot, you can't just call it Polish power. He gets upset. Legendary Polish power. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Powers now with the leg kick. Nicely done by Blahovic. Nice. Under three minutes now to go here in round two. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, nice kick. All right, let's go. Just missed with the left there. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Blahovic. Just misses with the jab there. Signs of bruising now on that left thigh. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Rutledge. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Beautiful right punch follows it up with the left. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. 15 seconds. Slow that heart rate down. All right. Here we go. 
All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Ruth. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Get those combinations going. Move those hands. It's just out of range with that uppercut. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the oh, he could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in D.C. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because... Oh, how about these two going at it? Rockic gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Hovich is limping right now. Clearly, that right leg is causing him problems. The last kick from his opponent appeared to do the most damage. Checks the leg kick. Two minutes now to go. That is a huge... So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Oh, he's getting the stand. Oh, oh he's in real trouble now. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Final seconds. Shot right before the horn, and now a little bit gingerly, he makes his way back to the stool. And he's only got 60 seconds to recover here, so we'll see if his corner, physically, mentally, can keep this fighter in the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. He's got to be careful here. Oh, this is some good grabbing out here and some swelling has now been caused on his opponent. Oh, he's got his back. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man, I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, 
you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities where you can either escape or sweep. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, at this point, hard to blame him for head hunting, right? He has caused some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. So three minutes have flown off the what fight clock there. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. His hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Twenty seconds left. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. Ready. Ready. Go. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, maybe he'll look to set up that hook again. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight, and his opponent. He's hurting for certain. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time a shot lands on top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head anymore. Well, let's see if he goes to set up the hook again. He has really done a nice job punctuating his combinations with that hook tonight. Just missed with a hook. Rockich's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those operators. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did. And now he's got him hurt bad. Just misses with that one. Two minutes now to go in the fight. What a fight, what a 
display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurting for sure. Yeah, John, they're both beat up. But I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of fight. The triangle choke is very close to being locked in. Now he's got to get his feet locked together, and he's got to start to pull down on the head if he wants to finish this fight. Oh, he escapes! He got out! He, wow! That is great submission defense. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Rockich getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. The Ladies official decision is in and resides rounds, with Bruce. We Bruce. go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Alexander Rocket! Rocket! All right, nice job by him there.